Hi YouTubers, how's everyone doing? I hope that everyone is having a great weekend and I'm here, Marie Almanza from Mawipa Social Media. Um, you know that I uh, looked through uh, YouTube, found there's been talk about a Corinne, Corinne Gaines case about her family being awarded awarded a 30, 35 million, I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, wrongfully deaf. You know that I, I saw her video of the cops stopping her and uh, because she didn't have a tag, like, uh, you know, um, a license plate on her car, she was stopped. You know, I wish that cops would be more diligently, like, the way they with DUIs the way they were with that lady um the way they proceeded to do that I don't understand why it escalated the way that it did apparently we can all see in the video how just you know she seemed like a person that was not well you know mentally and that of course she had mental issues um this was just a traffic violation, according to people that I have that I have seen commented. That it was just a traffic violation, and that she just didn't have her tag. I don't know why it escalated the way that it did, because I saw the video and they were saying to the young lady to get out of her car. Uh, you know how many people drive without tags in their car? I mean, I've seen it here lots of times in in uh, Las Vegas. But that's not the issue here. The issue here is the way they proceeded to handle the situation. Uh, when she started saying that you are trying to kidnap my kids with my car, right away it should have been like a red light that she was not okay and that they should have handled that situation a whole lot better. Uh, but being by the other cop opening the door and being very, um, you know, like trying to um you know trying to do his job like they say sometimes you do the job and you you know you mess up really bad because i think that this could have been handled a different way uh that you know that she seemed like she was off yes that she seemed that probably she had real mental issues in which you know that Probably was taken care of, or probably wasn't. Um, I didn't see, you know, she didn't comply with what they were saying to her about get out of the car. I also, you know, I believe that they just should have just served her their papers and let her do what she needed to do. I don't, I don't understand why it escalated to her uh, them going all the way down to her apartment. I. This was just, you know, she didn't, she did commit an illegal act by driving without a, a, a license plate. But uh, in the beginning, as you hear the cops say, all you had to say was that you didn't have your card. Because he did ask her, "Did your car was, is your car registered here in Baltimore? She gave him the papers. She said it was registered, but due because of, of, again because police had stopped her I don't know uh, the point is that you know first she becomes you know combative but then you know she gives them the papers and the documents that needed to be given um, I don't think that it could have gotten that way like I think that could have prevented all of that um, I do see that she did go to the court. I, I did see that video where she went to the court and she tried to get some papers. It, I, it seemed to me like in some ways she wasn't really, uh, you know, trying to be, um, um, let's just say she wasn't trying to be irresponsible in that sense. All she wanted was probably to get things cleared up. Um, they gave her the runaround also. She went to the police department and they did, or, you know, to the police department and they just gave her the runaround about the documents that needed to be. And she went, you know, it's like that. She recorded it, you know, um, 
unfortunately a life was lost because it was this kind of thing was mishandled in a very awkward way if you see that you know she's not well why are you going to escalate the problems to a more complicated one why are you going to bring SWAT team to her door for what reason you know was drugs involved was abuse involved you know what was it that led them to go to the house her apartment and kill her we all see in the um, in the video that yeah she loads up a gun you know this woman felt threatened for some reason she felt threatened and I think that when the mother went to court and they said that the the young lady had psychotic problems and that she had never seen her daughter act this way and that she did have an episode that she said that perhaps maybe they could have called her it's like what I said in, in you know my other I, my other video I, I said that maybe they could have called her parents in this situation and probably they could have handled that situation without going to the extreme of how it did you know they knew a child was in there you know they could have called her parents they could have gotten information even by her social security or by her by her driver's license I don't see why it became such a such an a big thing that they couldn't do that because even the mother said it and said if they had called me I would have probably had convinced her to come out you know and 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 this wouldn't have happened you know you, you cops do things and then they want to cover up for what they do and they know that they're doing it wrong they didn't do their job as they were supposed to why it became so violent under I don't understand why did they have to go to the, her apartment I don't understand if there was just a traffic violation and she didn't have any tags do you know how many people go without having tags? why just not